G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I watched The Hunger Games trilogy and you guys were telling me in the comments I should watch this because it gives us more background into Snow and how he rose to power or how he became who he is today. He's such an interesting character in that. I've heard that this is actually pretty good at giving us more context and that his character is really interesting. That's just the impression I've gotten from reviews so far. I've tried not to expose myself to too much to the public's opinion about this movie so I'm pretty ignorant as far as the overall consensus here so I'm very excited just to kind of create my own opinion see how much I enjoy this movie which honestly I'm not worried about I find it pretty easy to enjoy most films I immerse myself in it's Hunger Games <laughs> even if this is not as good as the trilogy I'm sure it's still going to be really entertaining so I'm very excited so without further ado let's jump into it Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Where are these kids' parents? Oh. Why is he doing that? He's starving. Oh, I see. Cannibalism. Your father is dead. Coriolanus oh. was a rebel, they say. A forest in 12. It's up to us now to make him proud. Oh. Poor kid. Oh, part one. Okay. How many parts are there in this? I'm assuming three. Right, so the kid was snow. Makes sense. Yeah, yikes. So already this guy, you know, his dad died from a rebel trap. Already planted the seeds. Tigris? <gasps> Tigris! That's right. I, I did something. It's beautiful. Aww. This actually mm -hmm. is so sad mm -hmm. after what we saw in Mockingjay. <laughs> You look so handsome. Oh, she's taking care of him so much. Future president of Panam, we salute you. <laughs> I can grow plenty more. <laughs> Even Dean Highbottom can't deny us this now. He despises me. The plinth prize, Tigress. Snowlands on top. They've done a good job with the casting. She looks remarkably like Tigress in Mockingjay before all the work. Damn, that looks so cool. Oh, hell yeah, the music. It's making the capital feel more noble, not horrible like it was in the originals. Finally, the star pupil. I'm gonna vulgar it with their fingers, Felix. Daddy and I teach you table manners. Maybe he would have if he wasn't so busy running the country. Oh, goodness, they don't even have finger food? Well, they despise it. <laughs> Who would have thought that you could buy your way into the capital? Damn, so they don't even respect people who can afford their way up. I heard one more time how immoral these Hunger Games are. I'll put them in the arena myself. Sejanus. So Mate, the way they talk is even lifeless, isn't it? It's so fake. It is interesting though. We never got many interactions in the capital of just normal people. Hey, listen. Um, I know you have high hopes for this, but there's no prize today. Not anymore. Excuse me? I am Dr. Volumnia Gall, your humble head game maker. She's brilliant. I've broken free of my laboratory today. <laughs> the love. To the creator of the Hunger Games themselves. Oh. Dean Casca Highbottom. Tyrion Lannister? Mm. Tenth annual reaping ceremony in which we choose two children from each district to throw into the capital arena to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. 24 top prospects. Eager to learn who's won that plinth prize, no doubt. I am here to tell you that there has been a change. If the games are to continue at all, there must be an audience. Oh, shoot. It will no longer be determined by who has the best grades, <gasps> by who is the best mentor in the Hunger Games. Oh, my goodness. What if I get a pathetic runt girl from one of the four districts, like eight or 12? Your role is to turn these children into spectacles, Miss Crane. I can see why it's an important skill. That is something you tell them a year before they do all their study, not after they've done all the work. District one, boy, goes to Livia Cardu. Oh, you'd be so happy about that, hey? Because most of the time, district one won, right? District two, boy, how apt. To Janice Plinth. Seven, boy, Lipsania Sickle, girl, Hilarious Heavensby. Oh, Heavensby. Oh, 
remember that name. Isn't it crazy that even their grades and their success in the capital is hinging on just the lives of other districts, kids that are just dying? They don't even care. Rug girl, District 12. She belongs to Coriolanus Snow. Yeah, of course. I bet he feels like it's so rigged. Lucy Gray Fair. Ah, uh, here we go. Interesting reaction. <laughs> Sing your way out of this one, Lucy Gray. Oh. I don't know what he's thinking, but he's interested. Oh! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Whoa. That's how you make an impression though, damn. Can take my history. Nothing you can take from me. Nothing you can take. I'm guessing they're taking inspiration from Katniss singing in Mocking Jay. Can't take my charm. Can't take my humor. Capital says keep rolling. Of course, this is entertainment, right? Whether people think it's cringe or entertaining, people are watching. You can't take my talking. <laughs> nice. Well, the capital gave her the opportunity. Well, she's mentally ill. <laughs> it does look a little bit like that, but I think she's just very interesting. What are your plans after these games? I hope to go on to the university, sir. And if you fail to win the plinth prize, what then? We'd pay the tuition, of course. Look at you, trying desperately to fit in. I know the snows don't have a pot to piss in. Whoa. May. Lucy Gray mm. won't survive a minute inside that arena. Well, in hindsight, it's about a uh, spectacle, isn't it? I'll get her to sing again. I wouldn't sing a note for you if I was her, unless I could trust you. How am I supposed to get her to trust me? I just want to know that somebody still cared about me. Aww. Don't discount her just because she's district Wow, that was really good advice from Tigris. He's lucky to have her, for now. I don't know why they don't think she has any chance. She seems unstable, like, in a good way, you know? Like, she'll just absolutely destroy everybody in the games, you know? Ah, here she is. Welcome to the capital. The White Rose. When I was little, my mama used to bathe me in buttermilk and rose petals. Um... Tastes like bedtime. <laughs> this is so odd. Hey! <laughs> oh! Oh, damn! Smooth! <laughs> Dude, they could all just kill him. I say we all kill him. I mean, y'all got family back home? Kill them if you hurt him. Yep. <laughs> wait! Wait! Holy! Well, we'll give them a chance to stand up and catch their breath. I'm jealous of that entrance. I'm the dude. That's right. The Capitol Zoo, where this year's tributes will be held here. And we're live. Own it. Nice. He was about to crack. Hello. Ooh, he's good. Lucy Gray Baird from District 12. Hi there. What's your name? My name is Pontius. Can I touch your dress? Of course. For someone from 12, she's so good on being in the spotlight. We're musicians by trade and we travel from place to place as the fancy takes us. At least. Right. Clearly I got the cake with the cream because nobody else has even bothered to show up. The game makers did tell you to jump in the cage with them. They didn't tell me not to. My goodness, everyone's getting lessons in spectacle from this girl from District 12. I Get us some food, please. Tenth annual Hunger Games are soon approaching. Violation of about five different academy rules, Mr. Steve. Having mentors only a little bit older than the kids is a bit problematic, I think. I'm moving for the game makers to disqualify you as mentor immediately. Tributes are human beings, just like us. Winning a war ten years ago doesn't justify starving people's children. Let's go. Down in the cage, but performances like young Mr. Snows in that zoo? What are the Hunger Games for? They're to punish the district, commemorate the end of the war. Commemorate the dull, dull, dull. Here we go. She's the first mentor. Perhaps the game's time has passed. Dean Highbottom is wrong. Maybe Sejanus is onto something here. Just wanted to get to know Lucy Gray. 
we need people to watch, we should be letting them get closer to the tributes before the game. Oh, it's even more diabolical, isn't it? Who will watch the games if they care what happens to the tributes? If they thought the tribute they cared about had a chance of winning. People need someone to root for and someone to root against. It's such a ge he's such a genius. You and you might you might actually use his ideas. If it'll help the ratings, why not? Querulanus and I are class partners. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is crazy that he has an idea to keep the games going, to keep people dying, kids, by making people care about the kids. Ugh. How do you think your tribute will have a chance if you can't eat? He was my classmate back in two. Oh. Father bought him for me, you know, at the raping, just so he could show me that I could never go back to two. That's horrible that they've got him in a cage, though. But it feels even more terrible in the future how they present them like they're mm -hmm. idols for them to die here come on yeah exactly he's right though who would even care about these people winning or losing if they treat them like this ew i might even be able to get the audience to send you gifts you just have to try singing again i don't sing when i'm told i sing when i have something to say the guards say you get money if you get more people to watch and you say you want to help me which is it mm, it's already so intimate this is what i mean by it being problematic having young mentors with young tributes <laughs> she's so sweet mm. so young something about her reminds me of my cousin maud ivory sure would have been nice to meet you under different circumstances I don't know if he's a good man. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Jeez! Hold on. It's okay, I'll get help. Somebody help me, please! <gasps> oh my goodness, that came out of left field. Oh, starting again. This is how it begins. You're just lucky that your songbird didn't peck out your eyes. Not a rebel cat, ma'am. She's just a girl. It's foreshadowing Katniss. She's just a girl. Yeah, it's interesting how the tribute sees him as a good guy, but everything he's done in this movie so far has literally just been to push himself further. Our president has decided that the games must go on. Yeah, what's the arena like? You may begin. You and I aren't going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see what everyone's tactics are here. Like years before, they've kind of got a way of doing things that works. Um, let me read you what- <gasps> Oh, dude! I'm so sorry about your classmate. Are you okay? Wearing my mama's dress is the only thing keeping me together here. My mother, she used to smell like roses. So you're an orphan, like me. More common ground. Maybe. A guitar could persuade me, maybe. You really want to take care of me in that arena? Start by thinking I can actually win. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course. Yeah. Every, every, his whole tactic is just to get support opposed to, you know, her abilities actually to fight. I guess that's why Katniss was so deadly, right? Is she had both. She had extremely good combat abilities, but she was also, but she also captured the nation, you know? What on earth are these things in the vials? Is this like the first sort of technology for the mutts? Oh! Is there a point to the coming? Oh no! No, 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 no. Which one of you actually wrote it? Well, there was... I was inspired by Coriolanus yesterday. Wait, what? So it's your sweaty handwriting on that page. Hey, my assistant mistook it for trash this morning. <gasps> and line the shelf of this very terrarium with it. Oh, Miss Dovecoat, retrieve it for us, won't you? So oh, she is a game maker. They're used to your scent. If you've handled their food, they've inhaled the sweat of your palm on a page. They'll leave you alone. Oh my goodness. That's what happens for lying. She's going to do it anyway instead of just owning up? <laughs> I'd be like, I lied. I'm sorry. You asked about the colors, Miss Dovecote. I want my enemies to see a rainbow of destruction engulfing the world. Strategy your classmate here articulated very well. Good, your suggestions. <laughs> Mate, it doesn't surprise me anymore that the first game makers was so psycho. Because the ones we see in the Hunger Games, they're kind of far more level-headed, you know? It's all strategy. But she's the uh, 
the one who comes up with all the ideas. Yo, the show. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's working. She's already trusting him. Welcome to the arena for the 10th annual Hunger Games. That's it? That's so boring. I guess also technology has advanced a lot in 100 years, right? Sorry, 70, uh, 60 years? Something like that? Corlinus, please don't let me die in here tomorrow. Oh! What is with the jump scares in this? What on earth? They could have all just died. Your legs okay? Is this a rebel attack or? Oh, mate, he's lucky he formed a relationship of trust with her. Lucy Gray. The first thing he thinks of. It was a rebel bombing. They must have been planning it for months. Marcus got out. He's the only one. Peacekeepers are hunting him in the streets. But They're not still going ahead with the games. Lucy Gray could have run, but she saved me. Now he doesn't want her to just win for him, but to just win in general, because she deserves to live. The song about a boy back in 12, and I hope he hears it. When I was a babe, I fell down in the Look at all the donations coming up on the right. It's sooner <laughs> than later that I'm six feet on later that you Wow. Well, it is something worth singing about. She was the first one to get the capital on board. Yep. And that's how Snow knows what works and what doesn't in the future. Gosh, man. Record high for the evening. The capital is definitely... Now, I don't love your odds, but may they be in your favor. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I think what the movie's doing really well is kind of showing the seeds of what we see later on in Katniss's time, you know? The way that everything was years before. The arenas don't look good. They're, they're figuring out the strategies for how to get the capital on board with the tributes. It's interesting that their strategy is just to, it's like just gladiators, you know, just an arena. Those bombs, they blew the walls out. Leads down to some tunnels. I've tried it, and you can disappear. You ignore the weapons in the middle, and you run as fast as you can. For Jess, it's my friend. No, the moment that bell rings, you can't trust anyone. Can't let you die. Four. It's okay. I am gonna get you out of here. That song. That song was payback. That's all. My old boyfriend Billy Tope. He was cheating on me with the mayor's daughter. Everyone will know what they did to me. I don't know whether to ship them, you know? Because I'm like, why does he like her? Don't even breathe it in because small amounts can be deadly. And there will come a time when you need this. We are going to win this. Interesting. Part two, the prize. We're about to go live. It's because you're not hosting doesn't mean you're off the hook. Don't get lost behind your screens and smile. That's why we have teeth. <laughs> Thank everyone, we're starting Happy Hunger Games. Remember, when your tribute dies, get out of here. <laughs> when? Gosh, man. Oh. I mean, this is far more interesting than the arena before the rubble. Stand on your mark, or you will be shot. Move. I can see why this would be worse for ratings. People would actually have remorse for them. Yikes! This is just gonna be a bloodbath, isn't it? Just why does this feel like it's gonna be more brutal? Oh. <gasps> No. Guess we can all sleep better now knowing he's off the street. Oh! The monsters! All of you! Yeah, good on you, mate. Run. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Half of them can't even fight. <laughs> Boy, that's unfair. She's got a trident. She's like an airbender the way that she evades. Is she just accidentally surviving? Come on. Come on. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, that girl with a trident, I'm worried about. She seems like she's on an endeavor to get rid of her. Is he gonna fit? Yeah. Hey. Oh. Can they not see there's a way out now? I knew we should have recruited that Reaper kid. 
That's our first alliance. The children watching. That was violent, horrific. <laughs> to the children watching. <laughs> this warm front is going to come down and collide here, squeezing out some drizzle. I don't know why I didn't notice earlier, but I have no idea the entire northern US was the 12 districts. I had no idea. Oh, you legend. Still alive. <laughs> but the problem for the capital is she's being rewarded for being merciful. That is so BS. Come on. That thing just shattered everywhere. What do you want from that girl? Nothing. I want her to live. And the plinth prize would be a happy coincidence, I suppose. Oh, is he about to give him tips to win? I thought he didn't like him. Who do you think makes that final decision for the prize you so covet, Mr. Snow? Even if Lucy Greybeard somehow wins it all, I will do everything in my power to ensure that you don't see a dime. I take it back. <laughs> That's how... Uh... That's so rigged. So he's got this guy, regardless of the results, he's just going to stop him from rising the power. I believe sustenance for a fallen comrade. I need someone to get him out right now. I will not have these rebels make a further mockery of my games. Yeah. It might as well be sounding a horn to the districts to revolt. I knew she'd freak out at the other tributes mourning for the other ones. You get him out unscathed. I'll whisper your name in his father's ear. You still want that plinth prize, don't you? Oh, her character, man. She's just allowing that terrible side of him, the really intelligent but diabolical side of him to just fester and grow. But she's the only person in, in this movie that's kind of rewarding him for the way that he thinks. He's being nurtured into who he ends up becoming. I thought they'd send my mom. I just realized that's his friend. Oh, I'm so thick. I had to go where the cameras are. He said, can you watch, watch him? There's tributes killing you in here. She's just gonna say you died of the flu. Do you want to fight these tributes or fight for them? You're the only one who stood up to go in that class, right? Yeah! I know Snow actually cares about him, but Snow does not care about what he cares about, which is the right thing. Ah! Hey, come on, buddy. Whoa. Oh! Ah! Mate, he even double tapped. Over the gate! Ah! That's your fault for not throwing it. Mom. I had to do something. It's crazy that these mentors too are just kids. Ugh. No storm down. Down on his head. It's storm down. <laughs> She's such a fruitcake. Come sit. I'll stitch you up. I wouldn't trust her. What happened in there? That's humanity undressed. See how quickly we become predators? Those tributes don't have a choice. I was talking about you. Yep. And it's horrible, but she sees it as like a beautiful thing. Like fascinating. <laughs> They got an eviction notice? Are you kidding me? I guess it is the capital though, you never know. I killed one of the tributes. It must have been awful. And it felt powerful. I know you want to be like your father. You don't have to pay the same price just to survive. Mm. You can be good. Oh, I love her. She's trying so hard. And she sees the good in him, but like you said, he felt powerful. And I think that's what he's after, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Whoa! Oh! Oh shoot! Stop running! What are you doing? What are you doing to me? That is horrifying. I think it's rabies. That bite. That's what we saw in the dog at the start. Send him water. Rabies. It makes you afraid of water. Send him a drone. Miss Vickers going for her community pack early. Thank you. Hopefully this works. Please, please, please. Come on. Please. Why are you He wasn't expecting that. Oh, and that's her friend too. She didn't want him to die. Oh. That must be horrible. Yeah, she has to go now. <laughs> 
All right, where's this other crew, man? I'm worried about them. Lucy Gray. You stay right there. Mr. Snow, going for his community pack. Oh, damn. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh. These things are deadly. These drones are not very good. Hey, you can't <laughs> attack the tributes. I'm just sending water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's manipulating the games. And she got water for herself. How did you possibly let her get away? You let her get away too. No. Come on. And <laughs> she's just seeing the whole thing. <laughs> it's alright. She has the high ground. Come on, girl. You got a good spot. Ah, oh, but she's got the reach. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow! Oh, she put up such a good fight. Damn. Oh, gosh, man. Come on, Lucy, you're more nimble. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I heard that. You're useless. I wish we had a camera inside of the duct, but we will next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> hey, you really think you deserve that water now, Tanner? You just said, watch the beam. Come on. <laughs> Mate, she didn't even need to poison them. <laughs> They'll just kill each other. Coral, little one for me. This should be easy. Oh, I just gotta wait them out. They'll come back. That's the only water they have. Ah, it's ill, ill. Tuberculosis on legs. No, no. Two things. She's not the target, and she's super innocent, which is just horrible. And also, they'll know it's poison when they come back. <laughs> it was a good plan, but damn. Oh. Dill? Dill! Ah! Ah! Oh. And Lucy blames herself probably too. I mean, it was her idea. It is incredible to me to see so many noble characters in the games years before Katniss, you know? It goes to show closer to the war, people still had their humanity a lot. Yeah. He just tore down the flag. Hell yeah. He's setting the standard for Katniss later down the track. <laughs> Come on, mate. What a legend. Are you gonna punish me now? Are you going to punish me now? Oh! <laughs> Felix Ravenstill, son of our beloved president, has this morning succumbed to his injuries sustained in the rebel bombing. I will not allow my games to give our enemy such a victory. A rainbow of destruction will engulf our arena. Ho ho! Whoa! Give me a drink. Give me a drink right now. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a drink, please. I kind of like the fact that everything feels less glossed over in this. They kind of felt like they had things really smooth then. Come sit. Pull down your shirt. Does she kind of see him as her protege? She sees that side of him that's just really intelligent, but also capable of manipulating the masses. He sent them out during the war to pick up rebel conversations. Oh. Watch. That's why. Okay. Origin stories all around. A failed experiment, but an instructive one. A failed experiment, but an instructive one. That's how good they are. Here, buddy, buddy, buddy. You should be proud of yourself. A songbird, Lucy Gray, put on a wonderful show. Yeah, you see, he's done well, even despite the fact she might die. Oh, I get it. Oh, he's such a genius. Oh, I get it. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. She's the only one that's not going to buy it. So good. 
What a horrible way to die, though, for the other tributes, man. What's this gonna look like? Oh! I've got you now, Songbird. Oh! What yeah, did you do to run. Him? Just survive long enough! Oh, oh my goodness! Kind of seems silly for them to still send the snakes when they're about to die, you know? That is not going to be good. Nope. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if it was candy? Is it over? No! Wolby. 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 Gosh! Oh, they're so fast too! Oh my gosh! That is horrible. It's not fair. I can't have killed them all for nothing. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Now, all colors lead to gray. Oh, I just got the word play there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's one, let her out. Afraid that's not your call to make. Yeah, they're gonna wait for her to die, but she won't. Oh, hopefully all the snakes know her though. You know what I mean? Is it enough? For yes, become Snow White. I mean, well, <laughs> I just realized. That is hilarious. Yes, sing to the animals. She'd know too that it was him. She probably thinks she's a snake whisperer now. <laughs> That's kind of cool though. What a powerful way to win though. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> She wants her to die, but she can't. When I've learned how to love. Hell yeah. Dr. Gall, please. Get her out! Yeah. Now she won't have a choice with everyone backing them. Get her out! Get her out! And here's another lesson for him, isn't it? You can't ignore the masses. Get her out. <laughs> She's won the winner of the 10th annual Hunger Games. I hate that I'm rooting for him, you know? It's a, they've done a good job to make me feel this way. <laughs> How does she end up the way that she does, man? I warned you, Mr. Snow. Yep. Cheating will be punished. <sighs> we found it in the snake tank, appropriately. Condemning you with your father's own initials. Your family won't ever see that prize money now. I've decided banishment to the districts where you'll serve your capital in exile 20 years. Off to the wall. You hear that, boy? What's this guy got against him? The sound of snow falling. What, has he just been looking for a reason for ages to get rid of the family? Gosh. All right, chapter three. Send me to 12. If I can't be in the capital, I might as well be with her. Oh, completely different look. You know, I thought I might find you here sitting all by yourself. Once I found out where they were sending you, I couldn't get out fast enough. May, what a friend. Make a real difference out of here. Just like you said. He's a legend, man. I was weighing the merits of suicide. When we're about to be free, when the girl you risked everything for yeah. might be waiting for you at the end of this track. I love that he sees it as a huge victory. The problem is they want completely different things. I don't know if he's going to be able to settle for, you know, a peaceful life. You will train wow. together, sleep together, eat together. You will wow. be our eyes and ears out here on my base. Ah! This guy! A peacekeeper and two mine bosses were shot dead. He's guilty. So oh, these, watch on this you. poor guy just wants to do good. This is not what he signed up for. Wait, she's gonna be arrested just for being a grieving wife? What do you expect her to do, smile? What is she guilty of? 
being directly associated with rebels. <laughs> what happened? He just completely changed off screen. I felt this way in the other movies, but Peacekeeper is such a dumb name for what they do, hey? Oh, here we go. Let me guess. He's going to rock up here with this music and her accent. <laughs> Come on. Yep, here we go. Can't take my past. Yep, of course it's this song. You can take my part. Names a mystery. Do you know the tune sounds very close to Wayfaring Stranger? Hey, I gotta hand it to the actress. She's doing a pretty good job in this. You're in control. Think again if that's your goal. Oh man, she's pretty happy to see him. Oh boy. What, you're gonna ruin all the fun? Who is this guy? Wait, what? Why they beat him up? He was harassing! Oh! Oh, dude! What are you crazy? Come on, we got you! You're welcome! <laughs> That was hilarious how he copped a punch just for moving forward. <laughs> yeah. Mm. There it is. Is this the same meadow from the end of Mockingjay? There's no way. It looks so similar. Still got one foot in the arena. Yeah. Yeah. He said he was glad that I survived you. I told you what I did to that boy in the arena. I didn't have a choice. I thought it'd be one of the others, maybe hey, Coral. You are not a killer, Lucy Gray. Yes, I am. Both of us are now. Matt? I don't know, girl. Your peacekeeper friends. I'll handle this. There's a lake out in the woods. Nobody knows much of it except us, Covey. Ooh. Meet me here tomorrow, we'll go. How exciting. That's my biggest concern still. I just don't know why he likes her so much. Is it a control thing? Yeah, look, I mean, if they could sing that well, probably would never get sick of it. Does she survive? I'm sure she's out there somewhere, but it's a mystery, sweetheart. Just like me. It was my mother's. Still smells like roses. Thank you. What if this was our life, Coriolanus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's too ambitious. To eat the roots. Pretty little thing, but it's determined. Some people call it swamp potato. I think Katniss has a much nicer ring, don't you? Oh! <laughs> Excuse me? So they named her after that. <laughs> trust is everything. More important even than love. Without trust, you might as well be dead to me. Whoa. You can trust me. I, I promise you that. That was the most intense way of saying I love you. <laughs> I'm going to reassign you to officer training in District 2. Train leaves in 10 days. Oh. I'll never see anyone from District 12 again. <sighs> yeah, I don't think this is the kind of person to decline. I just have to make it through officer training and then I can make my way back to the capital. I'm gonna be home soon, I promise her. I can totally see why wanting power and control is such a huge thing for him based on his past, right? What's my guy up to? I saw you talking to that woman in the jail. They're going up north. Start a new life far away from Pan Am. Are you out of your mind? They're all rebels. I can't stay here. Oh. I want no. Dude. Dangerous. They're just doing what anybody else would do. Hoff is going to execute her just because she knows the man that they killed. It's treason. Nobody's gonna get hurt. I'm just... Oh, look at this. He's gonna betray his best friend. I don't need you to rescue me, Corio. He didn't need rescuing until you had that conversation, man. Is he going to follow through? This is the turning point. I feel it. Ugh. Bro. It's not surprising, based on everything we know about the character. He will do anything he can. This world, it's cruel, it's Yikes. Hey, 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 stop! Guns, Sejanus? I didn't know there was going to be weapons. Are you crazy? There are peacekeepers right out there. He, I, I told him to come in here. He's gonna help. Hey, wait. Oh, now she's involved. 
She's not going anywhere. My pa's gonna string y'all up for the rest of the What do you think, Lucy Gray? Mile top, no action. And oh. how'd you enjoy the capital? See y'all at the hanging tree. Gosh. Shot the mayor's daughter. You and me were gonna be all right. No one's gonna think this was us. Cause surprise, come on, Capital Boy. Ah! Whoa! I didn't trust him anymore. Anyway. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You're gonna go back out on that stage and you're gonna sing. Oh. I'm gonna find you. Get rid of these guns. Go. All of this is your fault, dude. And we act like nothing is wrong. This is happening perfectly for Snow. You came here for me, right? We're brothers. Brothers. <laughs> Those guns were the only loose end besides the four of us. So we're gonna be okay. After that message. I have to run north. Like Billy Tope and the others talked about. Just wanted to say goodbye. Shivers. I just learned Hoff is sending me to two for officer training. As soon as they find that gun, they'll hang me. When can you go? Dawn. Okay. Is he actually considering this? I can't tell if this is another scheme. <laughs> Oh, it's the guy that was he's just with. Get the other one up here. The other one? Oh, is it gonna be his bro? He's not there. <sighs> Play the recording. The leader, Spruce, he wants to get his sister Wait, killed just because Wait, she help. knows the man that no, 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 no. is ah, Oh, and he knows it was his. Oh, and the screaming of the Jabba Jays. What is happening in this movie, man? Oh, I'm sorry. No stranger right, come on. would it be in the hanging tree. Oh, they actually met at the hanging tree. Wow. You, are you coming to the tree? The dead man called out. So he's actually going. You know what I want this? People. It's what the world does to them, like all of us in the arena. I think there's natural goodness born into us all. Sure will be nice not to have to kill anyone else up north, though, huh? Oh. Three's enough for me. I'm gonna make a walking stick. You want one? What? You killed three? Who's the third? Dude. What? The person you killed, Corey Lanus, he said you killed three people. I only know about two. Oh. How could you slip up that badly? <laughs> My old self. <laughs> Killed him so I could come with you. Nice cover. Yeah, she's not convinced. <laughs> we're gonna need food, Lucy Gray. Let's catch some fish while we're here. They only just made it to the cabin. That's how far it was. These ones. Uh huh. What? <gasps> oh no. Is he going to see this as his ticket? Just put it back. What is it? Yeah, it's a gun. Spruce must have known about this place. If we destroy that gun, you're free. You can go back home. Damn. Will you? Did she plan this? No more loose ends. Besides me. <sighs> you wouldn't tell anyone? I'm just going to go dig up some catness. Thought it was too early for that. Well, the world changes awful fast. Oh, it's still raining. Well, I'm not made out of sugar. Oh my goodness. Man, this guy's life's complicated. Lucy Gray, where are you? Hey, if something happened, because if something's happened, we can talk about it. E Let's talk. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of her. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. <laughs> Is that poisonous? Lucy Gray! After everything I've done for you! Yikes. Yeah, this is like the... Yeah, it's the turning point. <laughs> Man, he didn't even hesitate. Uh... Lucy? Oh man, this is so creepy. 
What is she doing? Lucy Gray, I said! Uh. Shut up! Gosh, yeah, that would be haunting. See why he doesn't like him. Far out. The tone of the last third of this is so weird. There's been a change of plan, Private uh, Snow. I'm not a fan of these surprise changes of plans. I've asked President Ravenstill to grant you a full pardon. You are too promising to waste in the military. So you'll be studying under me now. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, you sent your only friend to the noose. Here we go. That's not what I did. Are you sure? Because I think that won you the plinth prize after all. See? Another reward for doing something evil. <laughs> Let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for? I used to think that the Hunger Games punishment for the district. Now I know the whole world is an arena and we need the Hunger Games. <sighs> to remind us all who we truly are. And who are you, do you determine? The victor. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Snow. He's so corrupted. Ugh. This is what I'm saying, man. Every time he's rewarded for his actions, it's this woman who's just evil. You look just like your father, Coriolanus. Oh. You can already see the signs of them slowly, like, getting more detached. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. the credit for the Hunger Games goes to your father. I only dreamt them up as an assignment. I was drunk. Devise a punishment for our enemies so extreme they will never forget how badly they wronged us. Wow. I wanted to destroy it, but your father, my best friend, he'd stolen it from me, taken it to Gaul to rise up himself. I tried morphling the night that first child fell. I hoped the games might die out. I tried to stop them however I could, but then you came along. Yep. You know, the of so many more generations will be on my hands. You've shown us the price people are willing to pay for a good show. Snow lands on top. <laughs> nice. Oh, this poor guy. I get it now. I finally understand his character. He came across as such an asshole, but all of it was because he saw what his father did and he's trying to end the games. Oh, he's dying now. Wow, what a way to die with so much hopelessness. Oh, I hate this. Our protagonist who we come to kind of have a love-hate relationship with. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Yep. That freaking sucks, man. How many more years of just death and misery? That really sucks. Gosh. I guess that's the point though, right? It's a prequel to just absolute misery. <laughs> I don't think that could have ended any differently to what I expected because, I mean, it's, it's supposed to tie into a world that is literally just sad and miserable and oppressive before Katniss comes into the picture, you know? So that's the funny thing with movies like this, right? Is I feel bad, but that's the point. What was good about the movie was by the end of it, I didn't like him, you know? Where it kept me engaged in his story long enough where I was invested in him and his success for long enough before things turned and I wanted him not to succeed, you know? Uh, I think which was done really well. The whole time, the guy who created the games, right, tells us that he was literally drunk and angry and just came up with the most diabolical idea. But it was his best friend, Snow's father, that actually was the one who was like, no, this is brilliant, and actually pushed it forward, completely invested. And ever since, his best mate has been trying everything he can to get rid of the games. And that's why he treated him so terribly through the movie and was trying to get rid of him was because he was the last seed of the games continuing. And then he succeeded. And now we got oppression for the next how many years? It's, it's sad. So 
Uh, the whole love thing, the romance, that was so odd to me. It's just so interesting just to see a relationship being born out of a mentor trying to protect this girl who's supposed to help him win, you know? And then they fall in love and then he goes off with her and then all of these complicated things. It's just, it just felt so weird to me, you know? I didn't know how to feel about it. I was like, where is this coming from? Why does he like her? I think the gist I got from, from most of the movie was that ultimately he does care about power and getting control of his own life and anyone who sort of opposes his way of controlling his destiny is kind of like a threat. And uh, yeah, I mean, the guy's brilliant, obviously. You can see why he does succeed. And the only person who rewards him is this the game maker. Um, who's able to nurture him into this monster that he becomes, right? And uh, I thought it was interesting, the whole Lucy Gray thing, saying we're all, she believes we're all born with inherent good, but the world changes us and that sort of thing, and people can become evil. It's an interesting perspective. I think, I think we're probably born, not neutral, but with, I think we are born with both elements of good and evil. I think that those things are either nurtured or, you know, rejected but it was nice that she had that sort of perspective of we're born with inherent good um and innocence and uh yeah unfortunately snow was born into a life where his goodness wasn't nurtured as much you know what was nurtured and rewarded was his ambitiousness and the the way he was able to be cunning and good with people uh and it didn't help that even though lucy gray had good intentions she accidentally in a way helped him learn how to speak to the masses. And it's like all these characters that are actually good somehow gave him lessons in how to be a worse person. Despite it being so long, I thought the pacing was pretty good. I think the only thing was like the last third just felt a little strange. I think after the games ended, it was a little funny, you know? Uh, it felt like a different movie, but that, that's pretty much it. I think what the movie did really well too was it, it not only set up Snow's character and but, you know, did payoffs and that sort of thing. It really painted a world you could believe was, uh, I think it was, what, 65 years? 74th year was the first movie with Katniss, right? And this was, what, 10 years or 8 years after the first Hunger Games? So, yeah. I'm assuming it was 64 years prior. I think it did a really good job of painting a world that long ago, and... And you could really see the things that kind of grew and became the capital and the things that died. But anyway, I enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.